Hello guys, we're back. Today we're going to just have a simple process on uh, creating a site. Last time we checked on how to create a site type, we required that field. So basically, uh, when you log in and all those things are done, just uh, you know, scroll the page up and down, you'll see there's some buttons changing down there. Okay, there's still some UI bugs, but we'll fix them. But anyway, just look for this plus that's coming here at uh, the lower left, no, the lower right corner. You scroll down like that, it becomes green. Just press on it, it opens some, uh, expands some fab buttons that is uh what do you call these things so yeah yeah fab yeah, thing something like that uh there's a button there that looks like a building just click on it it'll give you a wizard to create a new site just a small introduction costings if it will apply for your site if it doesn't then you'll just be good so say next and you're prompted to enter the parameters for the new site here the next button the next button will be disabled so let's just start by kind of inputting the site name I have a machining store so called uh like um Timbusia Road okay and then you remember last time we uh created a site type so here I'm going to look for it so I just type we create a site type that was called workshop so here I'm just going to look for workshop so just W O and I press go to just look for a site tab that starts with W O it will give me workshop I'll select it and then the rest is just self-explanatory like the address and say maybe like the CR uh, industrial area industrial area Oh, let me maybe finally just say Nairobi. Okay, something like that. If you know that, then say description of this machining center for parts. Capacity. This is the capacity the site can hold. So basically, my workshop takes around. Uh, around 15 people but at the moment it just has five people so on this side do we have a surveyor there no we don't have so at the moment this all applies for surveys for areas like construction sites or uh, areas where you're laying fiber cables be some survey data that's required there okay sections units uh, this one applies for sites whereby maybe you're doing a construction site for house for houses or bungalows or townhouses and then you want to describe how many units are in that site okay my workshop is just uh, a building with like uh, four floors so here i can just say four home city of course definitely this one is connected to Google Play services uh, Google places so if I just say like Busia Road just say Busia Road and then uh, Busia Road and then I click go this feature is for Google places to predict the area most probably fill out the rest of the fields for me but if they're not there then 
I'll just you'll just fill them for yourself. If you know the latitude and the longitude as the GPS coordinates of the place, the altitude that's the height above sea the level. Uh, how much did it cost you to acquire this site in case you want to incorporate that in your reports whenever you may be doing like new sites for projects like for example if you want to play fiber or connect clients in an estate and there are some costings that come in actually acquiring the site and being given the site like commissions and what have you the total cost of that comes here at the moment i'll put it to zero the area in square meter of the site is the area in square meter of the site and my area i think at the moment is around uh i don't know can check but anyway this one you can leave it zero minimum square meter it will handle is a hundred manpower in case you need people to work at the site at the moment i can just put them 10 joining fee then fee this will apply for a different application whereby you have a site and you're doing ticketing for them so in a scenario whereby like you have uh uh, a, a party or maybe you have uh, a public event like a wedding or maybe like uh, we can talk of uh, a charity charity occasion whereby people just be buy 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 tickets and they pay to come in so here you just put join fee and there'll be a different configuration report for that when you're doing that strict gps means that the supervisor or the tellers or the cashiers that you'll create in this system later must log into the system in a, in, in, in a geofence. That is, the area here determines the geofence in GPS. So select that if you want that activated. Acquired active that means you just activate the site basically that's it when creating a site it's nothing much just say next and if you have uh, you have not gotten our license then you'll be forced to pay a creating a site if at all you don't have uh, if, if you've already agreed with us and we've given you uh, uh, the go ahead to you know, create sites for your for your application then you'll not view this we'll configure that at the back office so for this one it's not fully configured at the back office so so there's a, some payment that you need to do and here we support several payments types of payments at the moment like in Kenya we can use M-Pesa then we say next so uh, if I go previous and I select another type of payment for example like um, I can say equity just say next or I can say paper then I say next so I'm um, just given another field to confirm or my my, my whether my my site data the parameters I've entered are correct and from there I'll just submit once I submit I'll save the settings so at the moment once you save the settings it will just be saved into the server if that is if we have given you go ahead to create as many sites as you want in your application so for this one has not been configured like that so i'm i'm forced to pay for that so i can select mpesa for those who understand this and then when i click click on submit and save it prompts me it tells me what i'm supposed to do next go to my mpesa menu and pay one two thousand kenya shillings to this pay bill number but basically if we are in agreement and maybe we've communicated by email or anything you we can always put configure the server side for your profile to skip these steps so basically that's it uh, there's nothing much here just say next and submit if you want to pay if you if you don't want to pay if you find this application is useful and you want to have kind of a 
private agreement with us we'll just uh, uh, give you the configurations and you'll be able to create sites in this kind of a manner so let, let me not go beyond this part but i think that's 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 quite enough on creating a site just it's that that simple well thank you for watching